Hey ladies and gentlemen, my name is Bubloon aka Pavloon and today I wanted to make a live commentary video here on the St. Vincent. The St. Vincent is absolutely insane and I kind of just wanted to make you guys grind this ship because we don't know when, if, if Wargaming is going to nerf this at some point. I don't think they will, I don't think they should. It's a pretty balanced ship in, in my opinion because you are very very easy to take out. You know, if you don't have your heal that has a very long cooldown. You're not a tanky battleship, but you have good concealment speed and your guns are absolutely laser beams. They destroy people and you're going to see that in this game here. St. Vincent can produce some really high damage numbers and with the build we have here, I think this is the best build out there. Dispersion, Propulsion, Detection. And then running Tovi. Tovi gives you Demo Expert Plus and APCS Plus. Now I don't have APCS yet, but without, even without that and just a normal commander, you're going to do massive damage as you will see here in this gameplay. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy this uh, gameplay, and uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys in the game. Alright dudes and dudettes, let's play some St. Vincent here. So this ship is insane, if you ask me. It's, it's quite a fun ship, and it's also quite a relevant and good ship. You don't really need, you know, too much to go wrong, or sorry, to go, go well with this ship for you to do massive damage. The guns hit hard, they're precise, and of course, you know, they're high caliber, so you do chunky, chunky hits on unsuspecting people. Also, what I love about St. Vincent is the absolutely bonkers detection you can go if you run a concealment build. Alright, is that a Conqueror? I think it is. And I mean, the speed is also very, very nice, right? So I'm actually going to use my speed boost here and try to get some damage on this Conqueror before just before he goes behind the island. Can we get some damage there? Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> this is what I was talking about, guys. This ship absolutely chunks people. It's just insane. Uh, and I think I'm just going to focus my attention on this Yamato here. He is very much broadside and pushing, so... Well, that's a third Citadel. How many, how many Citadels do you guys think we're going to get? I mean, I think my record in a... In a game is like 10 or 11. Not with St. Vincent, keep in mind. Just, uh, I think it was Petropavlovsk. But imagine if we got 10 Citadels with this thing. That would mean at least 120k damage, I think. Okay, but Kremlin here. We have we have three battleships here. So I think I'm just gonna... Look out for this gearing here. And uh, see if we can take out Yama. While dodging those torps. Could be... Could, that should be possible, right? right there we go. Yeah, we're kind of dodging them. Kind of. He's definitely close to being done. Yep, there he is. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stay... Well, hello, Mr. Gearing. Are you still sitting here? You really are. Bye-bye, Gearing. See you later. <laughs> oh, man. All right, I think our next target here is going to be the Petro. I want to avoid as much as possible this uh, Vermont salvo, but... Oh, there's two of them. Oh boy. Well, Petro's having some fun, so let's just give him a little bit more, you know? Wait, please tell me that torpedo's gonna land. That would be hilarious. Wasn't aimed for you, bro, but uh, enjoy. Nope, it ran out, of course. Okay, so we have this daring in front of us. Kind of want him to uh, move. Instead of sitting here in front of me, but okay. Let's see if we can take out this Petro here. Come on. Give me that Citadel. Give me the fourth. Yeah, okay. Well, we got him. It's fine. I think we're going to push these uh, Vermonts now. See if we can get some easy damage on them. Yep. I mean, guys, if you are wondering what the best battleship is in this game, I think I'm going to have to say St. Vincent. It's simply too good. You can't ignore this thing. It's insanely fun to play I mean I'm just barreling down these two Vermonts here and I'm very very confident of me being able to do what I need to do right, let's use our first heal since uh, Conqueror is right there oh my lord look at that damage baby look at that <laughs> he's gone who's the next customer up I think it's you Vermont 100,000 already this is literally the first game of the day. Um, 
I was like, I need to record some footage. I've been away on the week weekend here. Me and Neo have been uh, seeing all the in-laws, you know, both uh, my family and her family. So I haven't even been home this weekend. And don't worry, it was great. You know, Neo's family is uh, lives on a farm, so it was awesome seeing a lot of farm animals, you know. Big city boy going to the farm. Always a good time. Well, that's another kill right there. Who's the next one? It's, it must be Chunk over here. I mean, your name is very fitting, Mr. Chunk. Since I, I said this thing chunks anything, so... You're the perfect contender, Mr. Conqueror. Alright. Well, let's see how we, if we can get a nice salvo here. I was thinking we were going to get way more citadels this game, but uh, apparently not. Apparently not. I think this daring here is going to... You know, finish the Conqueror before we uh, get to shoot our other salvo, but... Hey. Maybe not, actually. Oh! <coughs> oh, I'm dying, dudes. <laughs> that was... That was the salvo we wanted. Chunk got wrecked. <laughs> oh, man. So, if you're not convinced yet, guys. If you're not convinced yet as to if you should get this ship or not. Maybe this is uh, enough convincing for you to get this thing, because... Man, is it fun. This was low effort. I mean, you could get way more damage with this thing. You can get tons of damage with this ship. I mean, I think most of the time, every time I see, you know, some one of my stream dudes playing it, they always get very, very high damage, like 150, 170. You know, an, an average damage in this thing is like 120 every game. It's crazy. And I'm surprised that, you know, no, Wargaming kind of let this happen. I don't think it's unbalanced. I don't think it's unfair because St. Vincent is very easy to take out as well. And I think that's the balancing factor here. Let's see if we can get one salvo on this Shimmer. He's running away, so probably not, but... Hey, let's see. Let's see if we can hit this guy. Nah, he's gonna he's gonna get away before I can hit. Maybe not, maybe? Ah, close enough, close enough. Well, that is probably gonna be it for this game. GG. Imagine if we had Tovi with uh, APCS+. I am running Tovi on this ship, obviously, but... Yeah, not APCS yet. So um, once you get there, it, it gets even better. There we are, 134,000 damage. Very, very easy to get with this ship. Honestly, not the, that hard. And if you want to find yourself a fun boat that does a ton of damage, this is the one. This is definitely the one. So yeah, GG to the enemy team. GG to my team. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little short video. Back to some good old gameplay content. Thought it was about time you know i'm taking a break from the 100k challenge because uh, my sanity needs to recharge getting 100k in tiger was not easy but i'm actually quite impressed we did it in six six games so yeah stay tuned for the next episode whenever that comes out and uh, i'll see you guys in the stream tomorrow and thursday where we will be hosting giveaways guys so uh yeah have a great rest of your day and evening my name has been bubbling aka pabloon and i am signing out